Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to talk about leaving our mark on the world. What will you be remembered for? What is your legacy? Let's talk about legacy. How do we leave a legacy? Well, it's important to be able to live a life of meaning, live a life of purpose. And what is a life of meaning and purpose? A life of meaning and purpose usually involves helping others, serving others. When we serve others, we figure out ways to help our fellow man. That gives us a sense of purpose. Some of the greatest people that have ever lived, some of the greatest leaders that have ever lived, have had this purpose of helping others. They weren't selfish. They were selfless. And we remember them for hundreds and hundreds of years afterwards, thousands of years. You have Marcus Aurelius, the only good, arguably, the only good emperor of Rome, stoic, great thinker. That guy died a long time ago and people are still talking about him. There's quotes on Facebook all day long, whole pages de dedicated to him, YouTube channels dedicated to this guy. People write books about him. We can think of other people, Martin Luther King, fairly humble person. We don't even know what kind of finances did. Was Martin Luther King a millionaire? Who knows? He was really good at helping people. People love him because he was helping. So when we're thinking about our legacy, about how to live a life of meaning, and what are we going to be remembered for? It's all part of this same conversation of helping. I have a little uh, list of things, four things that I wrote down as I was brainstorming on this topic about ways that you, that we, if we're not, I'm not a leader of Rome and I'm not Martin Luther King, but how could I leave my mark? Will I just die alone and no one ever remembered my name? Maybe there's nothing wrong with that. Who knows? But a lot of people want to be remembered for something. I think this is what this need is that we see on social media for people desperately trying to be famous. On Instagram, you know, with all these followers and YouTube. A lot of people think they're famous on YouTube. You, there's like this term that I just learned recently of content creators. Have you heard this term? But I understand that there's this need for likes, for followers, for subscribers, for fans, for... And it all points to this thing of, sure, there's validation, there's groupthink, there's weakness in your daily life that you need to get through and all this bullshit because people are suffering from depression and anxiety all day long. But greater, deeper down, there's this need to be remembered. I think that's what it is. It just We just want to have this life to where we don't die alone without anybody speaking our name. So, the first way that you can be involved in this circle of meaning, a life of purpose, a purpose-driven life, and the byproduct of it is, is that people remember you and carry on your name, your legacy, is by having kids. Have kids, but you can't just spit them out of your dick. Like, what's that? There's this guy I was just reading about who has a TV show. Uh, he's a, an, a, a former singer that has some sort of daytime talk show. He's got like 15 kids with 15 different women, and he brags about it. I'm not talking about being like that. <laughs> Be a good father. Be a hero to your kids. That means you have to live a tight life. Your kids are watching you. You can't be a fraud. You can't half-ass it. You can't be some lazy, pleasure-seeking fool where you're gonna raise lazy, pleasure-seeking, weak kids. Raise a warrior means you have to be a warrior, the ultimate motherfucker, so that kid looks up to you, so that kid grows up saying, my dad was the greatest motherfucker ever. Leave your legacy. That kid will raise a kid just like you raised him and talk about my grandfather, my great-grandfather. This is a picture of your great-great-great-great-grandfather. Your legacy will be carried on. You'll create a generation of men, of warriors, instead of a generation of pussies. You leave your legacy through having kids. Another one is charity. 
not just giving to charity because no one really remembers your name other than the IRS when you just write a check. Charity in general. There's, uh, you ever see these guys, these, they get these tattoos, faith, hope, and charity. Charity is an important concept in our lives. They talk about this in church, about giving back. They talk about this in a lot of community settings. Charity is about community and it's about helping. You can make a meal for a friend of yours that you know is not able to put enough, enough groceries in there. Just show up and be like, hey, hey, you don't have to make a big, oh, I know you're poor or I have more money than you. Just, just be nice about it. There's all kinds of ways that you can be charitable. Whether, whether it's people around you, I'd start with people around me because that way it's trickle down everybody it, it, I help you he helps somebody else I gave a car to my brother a couple years ago decent car just because I had an extra car <laughs> gave him one Mitsubishi Eclipse he was thankful he liked it he had this old beat up Jeep not really worth much he gave his Jeep to a buddy of his that needed a car. So it was just trickle down. Charity is, uh, is great. And the more charity you give, think of Mother Teresa, think of some of these people that really are helping and they get statues made of them. They're these uh, people in your community who you may not know of, but the whole rest of the community does and are thankful for and Pray to God, thanking, thank you for this guy. Be one of those people. Those are the strongest people in your community, is, is the charity, people that are involved in that. Another way is through creations. You know, leave your legacy, create stuff. Inventors, artists, musicians, writers. A writer can get lucky, a, a, a musician can get lucky, one hit song, never hear this motherfucker again. You can think of a lot of musicians that had just one big song on the radio and never, you can't think of another song that they ever played with their band. You can't think of any other songs on that, on that album, but that one song, you loved it and everybody loved it and everybody will always remember it forever. Generations below you hear it, you know, I mean There's all kinds of ways to create and Have those creations last longer. I was talking with uh, my buddy the other day and just kind of Shooting the shit about vehicles and he builds custom cars and I like to build custom motorcycles and he was saying You know, you can't Look at these bikes that you've built as nothing every one of those bikes is still around. Those are machines, they're, they're still on the road somewhere. And when you die, those bikes are probably gonna still be around somewhere. Create something. Another way, the final way, I'll, I'll leave it after this. There's probably plenty of ways that you can leave your mark and create a meaningful life and to have purpose and to leave a legacy, but the last way I want to talk about as far as leaving your mark on this world and to be remembered having a legacy is wisdom. Gain wisdom and share wisdom. Wise people are needed, recognized. People flock to, to wise people and share it. Be known as that wise grandpa. Everybody in your family can go to you for advice and for wisdom and to hear you talk about stuff. Those stories Grandpa says are, are what we live for. And when you, long after you're dead, they'll be remembering those stories and tell them to their kids. Think of people like Gandalf, just a good character from a story, but I always like Gandalf because he had the, the kind of vibe that you could talk to him about anything. Anything under the sun. And it's not going to freak him out. He's not going to run off and be like, oh, hell no. Uh, you know, he, he's just going to be able to, he's just a wise guy that has all kinds of knowledge of all kinds of topics and just a worldly person. Those types of people contribute to society. Those types of people are remembered. 
are valued. Wise people have a value in our society. So, I don't know, it's all just food for thought. I hope this has uh, gotten through to somebody out there. Thanks for watching.